All right, a change in price equals a change in quantity supplied. One of the best ways to think about this is where you'll supply your labor. If you work a minimum wage job and you're getting paid, say, five seventy-five an hour, okay, and the minimum wage increases, or perhaps a new company opens up and is willing to pay more, you will go move to that new company that will pay higher than minimum wage, or perhaps you haven't entered the market yet at minimum wage, but minimum wage increased or a new company is willing to pay you, say, $8 an hour or $7.75 an hour or so, then you will actually enter the market. So more workers will enter the market and workers will move and supply their labor to the place where the price is higher. Think about it too, if something becomes more popular, say horror movies in October, the quantity supplied of horror movies will go up. So that would be a change in price, which equals change in quantity supplied. That works the other way too. I'm making this video in November. Right now, or at least in a couple of weeks, the price for Christmas trees is going to increase a great deal. But come December 26th or even December 23rd, the price for Christmas trees is going to decrease. People aren't willing to pay as much for Christmas trees. And so those who own Christmas tree farms are going to quit chopping them down and just save them for next year. As the price that people in the market are willing to pay decreases, the quantity supplied will decrease. There are fewer and fewer trees to buy. And those of you that have waited till the last minute with your families know what it's like trying to find a Christmas tree. The quantity supplied close to Christmas, very close to Christmas, has decreased a great deal and the price has typically dropped because Christmas tree sellers are trying to get rid of them because they know December 26th those trees are pretty much worth nothing. So a change in price equals a change in quantity supplied. You move along the curve that the market has already determined with the supply schedule.